are in the kitchen again. Because I'm writing a fantasy, I thought it would be nice to make stew. People in fantasy always eat stew and it's like the best, coziest part of the book. So we are going to be making a lentil stew and then I'm going to be back at it working on my fantasy novel. So in here, I don't know if you can see them, I've got some farmer's market carrots that are um, very dirty and very fresh. So I'm gonna wash them and then get to work on the nice, cozy stew. <laughs> It's a quick peel. They are so tiny that it was hard to peel, so I don't mind a little carrot skin. <laughs> Did the hobbits peel carrots? Probably not. <laughs> performance anxiety chopping this onion. <laughs> I feel like you're all judging me. I don't know how to chop an onion. I think I should rinse it. It's kind of weird. Okay, I don't know if you're supposed to rinse an onion, but that one was kind of weird looking, so I just, I rinsed it. What are you gonna do? You're not gonna do anything. Also, I assume you're like, um, you're using every type of wrong knife. This is my, my comfort knife. <laughs> I chop everything with this knife. Maybe I'm supposed to have a bigger cutting board. Would that make more sense? I don't know. I don't know. Oh my goodness. My eyes. I can't even see beyond the tears in my eyes. hurt so bad. <laughs> I wonder who the first person was who powered through this pain and was like, yeah, no matter what, I'm gonna eat this onion. <laughs> My eyeballs they hurt so bad. All right, I'm done with that monster. So if you're here for soup perfection, you have come to the wrong channel because this is about soup coziness and um, fantasy vibes. You know, I ignore all the plastic that you see here. <laughs> now for the olive oil. That seem like two tablespoons? Good enough for me. Am I supposed to wait for that to get hot? Oh well, I'm not doing it. Two cloves of garlic. I have this little doohickey. I can't get my doohickey to work, so I'm gonna have to chop these onions or these garlics the old fashioned way. How are you supposed to get the paper? Oh wait, I know what they do on the TV. They crush it. There we go. Oh, it's blowing away in the fan. And then we chop. <laughs> Can you see this gargantuan onion piece? I hope that breaks down in the stew. <laughs> So while those saute, I am going to finish chopping up the carrots. I'm starting to think I washed too many carrots because this chopping is taking forever. calls for celery. I don't have celery, so we're skipping it. So the onions are starting to stick a little on the bottom. Does that mean my stove is too hot or does that mean I didn't put in enough oil? 
I do not know. All right, I don't know if this is against the rules of cooking, but I'm gonna go in here with this knife and kind of separate these onion pieces that are so huge. I don't want that in the final soup. All right, good enough. So it says cook until the onion is sweet. And I have no idea what that means. Am I supposed to reach in there and eat just an old piece of plain onion? I don't really want to do that. So maybe I'll just guess. I think I'll guess. I am struggling majorly with this can of tomatoes. Oh my goodness. Come on, can. Okay, please work. There are so many people watching. All right, the instructions now say to just pretty much add everything else except the lemon juice and the pepper and the salt. This is two cups of lentils. I rinsed them because it said to. And then it wants six cups of water. I should have done this first. I'm filling up water from the filtered water. It's so slow. I'm gonna burn the lentils. All right, here's two cups of water. Also, technically the recipe calls for broth, but I don't actually like broth. You know, that's probably strange, but uh, true. So I use water. All right, what even are the other ingredients? Cumin, coriander, paprika, bay leaves. All right. Two bay leaves, a half teaspoon of cumin and coriander. Oh dear. Hmm. All right, that's gotta be good enough, I say. Now, one and a half teaspoons of paprika. Now, if that doesn't look like fantasy stew, then I don't know what does. So now we're going to let this come to a simmer. And then once it starts simmering, we cover it. Have you ever seen that tweet that says, I hate the advice to clean as you go because I can barely go as I go? That's totally me. I give the illusion of cleaning when I really just move everything out of the camera's sight. And then I clean afterwards. Um, I just got to the point of the recipe where it says to scoop the scum off the surface. How about, um, we can agree, future recipe makers, to never use the word scum in your recipe. It's so gross. That the offending scum. Can we call it bubbles or something? Something not so associated with decomposition. All right, while the stew is, um, stewing, I'm gonna get to work on my fantasy. In my last vlog, I had returned to my mystery, and I had said I needed to add a scene and then change two important scenes. And I added one scene, and then I changed one and a half scenes, but then I realized with the introduction of the new subplot, it was bleeding all over the rest of the story, so that's gonna be a whole, a whole ball of wax that I'm not gonna deal with right now. I'm writing fantasy. In this vlog, I am going to return to my magic mystery. I'm actually very excited about it. I'm going to re-get out my note cards. I'm pretty sure I'm still on the sixth scene of the ten scenes in Act One. Yeah, I'm going to get to work. I'm going to start fleshing out the scenes, connecting them, see how far we can get while these two stews. Um, I am hungry, so I do have a Pop-Tart. I know in fantasy they probably don't eat Pop-Tarts, but um, let's think of it as a hand pie of surprise. All right, it's been boiling for an hour. Going to remove the bay leaves. Now we're going to add some salt and pepper and lemon juice. It wants fresh lemon. I don't have a fresh lemon, so I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of lemon juice. When I stir it, it sounds like a cow in the mud but I actually took a little bite of it to see if the lentils were done and it tastes really good even without the salt and pepper in it, it tastes really good. Now we're gonna blend it with this thing. That's what they said to do. 
just a few bits of it. And voila! Stew! Okay, it's too hot to taste. It's good though. my note cards onto the floor. I feel like a teenage detective in a movie just got her murder board destroyed. Even knocked over my hourglass too. All right, first of all, the stew is delicious. I like devoured my bowl of it. I picked that recipe for the sole purpose of having a cozy fantasy stew, but it's definitely one that I'm gonna put in my regular rotation of um, recipes, soups, mainly soups. That's what I like to cook. Um, as for my own fantasy writing, I mean, it's okay, it's slow going. What has happened is I got stuck in this sixth scene because two reasons. One of the secondary characters doesn't yet have a full personality, which is fine because I literally do whole drafts during revision for each character where I focus on their consistency and characterization and everything. So, Right here at the very beginning of draft two, this secondary character does not need to have a full personality, and yet I have still keep getting stuck on it. And then the other reason is because even though I know what needs to happen to get myself to the seventh scene, just like plotting it, like writing it all out feels very like, and then this happens, you know? And that's not what I want it to feel like. I want it to feel like, you know, the characters are moving the story, like progressing it along, not like the story is happening to them. And again, that's like a draft 10 problem, but for some reason, I'm just stuck on it right now, even though I know that it would be perfectly fine for me to just complete these scenes with, you know, mildly flat secondary characters and strange, poorly progressed plot momentum. I just need to convince myself of that so I can just get a move on with this draft. <laughs> 